The Marlin Spike Hitch Rope Ladder. Hello everybody, welcome back. And in today's little exercise, what I'm gonna show you how to do is not, we're not gonna build a complete ladder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put wooden rungs onto a rope ladder. So yes, what I'm doing is I'm giving you a step up in the world. Only two steps in our case. But if you want more, all you do is add extra Marlin Spike Hitches to bits of wood that you've collected or have. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on. And first of all, let's have a look at the Marlin Spike Hitch itself. Right, so the first thing I want to do is I just want to show you the properties, what makes the Marlin Spike Hitch such an excellent little knot. And I, lo I really love this knot. And if you want to know more about the Marlin Spike Hitch and what it can do, check my description down below or in the comments. And I will put a link to another video just dedicated to every knot that I know of that can be made using the Marlin Spike Hitch. Now, from my understanding, the idea the name of the knot came about because it was initially tied using a marlin spike. And if, say, for example, we have a length of rope and we want, we've got, say, something heavy to the right-hand side and we want to pull it or keep it taut by pulling it to the left-hand side, what we do is we get our marlin spike and tie the marlin spike hitch. And to do that is really, really simple. So what I do is I just get my marlin spike and I place it over the top of my work and then pass it so the tip comes underneath and then what I'm doing is I'm forming a loop over the top there like that, keeping the spike through the hole. I then pass the spike over the standing end at that point there, take it over the standing end and then finally where my spike is now coming over the standing end, I'm pulling the standing end through at that point there. And you can see now we've tied a knot onto our marlin spike. And the beauty of it is this, that if I now get hold of this and my weight, as I said, is on the right hand side there. So if I pull on this now, I cannot physically move it off my marlin spike. So in other words, I've got a lovely T-handle to get hold of and pull my weight to the left. So whenever you're using tying the marlin spike hitch, if your heavy load is on that end and you want to pull it that way, point your marlin spike in the direction that you want to actually pull it and then go over and tie it. It's a bit cack-handed here on the tabletop method and you can see there now I've tied the Marlin Spike Hitch. So that is the properties of it. And the beautiful thing about this is, no matter how much I pull to the left-hand side here now, that is not coming undone. But a word of warning, if we pull it the other way, let's just loosen that up a bit. If we pull it the other way, it will slip. And you can see now what we've created here is actually we've created a slip knot. But anyway, that's enough about the Marlin Spike Hitch itself. Let's get on and I'll show you two different ways of tying wooden rungs onto our rope ladder. Okay, so as you can see, in front of me I've got a piece of rope. I have centred it and what we can do now is we need to attach this to the branch of our tree, something like that. So however you want to attach this, and also the other thing is it doesn't need to be one rope halved you can actually use two separate ropes, it doesn't matter. So long as they're both secure at the top of the tree, like I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna attach it to my jig there, and you can see now here, it's attached to the branch of my tree, and there are the two sides of my rope ladder. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually now put the rungs onto the ladder. Right, so as you can see, I've got myself a piece of wood, the wife doesn't know it yet, but she no longer has a mop. Right, and so now the next thing that I do is I bring up my rung. So this will be the first rung of our ladder. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass it underneath my rope at that point. You can move it wherever you want, up or down. And once you've tied it, it will also be fully adjustable. So now that we've done that, the next thing I do is just place my thumb on top of the rope to stop it slipping and just go around 
and pass one turn around the rung of our ladder. Now that I've done that, the next thing that I want to do is I want to get a bite in the top piece. So this piece coming down here, just get a bite in there and then take that bite and pass it underneath the one that's going over the top. So you can see now there I've passed the bite underneath the one going up to the top of the tree. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is just fold that bite over so it comes over this one here and then I'm just going to bring it around the back of my piece of wood or the rung of our ladder now and just gently prise it up and tighten it and then when I now pull on that you can see there I have got myself a really really tight and firm marlin spike hitch in there. So let's do that again but on the other side. So once again on the other side here I'm going to take the cordage going up to the tree over the top of my rung and bring it around the back like so. Now that I've done that I then take a bite so take a bite of the turn that you've just passed around so take a bite pass it underneath the piece that's going up to the top of the ladder so it's got, that's the piece going up to the top of the ladder take your bite there fold it over everything fold it over everything and then bring it around over the back of the rung of our ladder and then just gently tease it up and you can see here now as I tighten up on that, tighten up on that one, you can now see that I have got myself the first rung on my ladder. And it's as simple as that. So that is one way of putting the marlin spike hitch onto the, onto the rung of a ladder. Let me now show you a second way and probably my favourite way because it's just a little bit simpler. And what we do is this. I get hold of my cordage and in my cordage what I do is I roll it between my fingers to form a loop at that point there. So you can see there the actual rope is going around over itself and coming back down towards me. And then I'm just going to take it down a little bit further and then what I do is now put another turnover. So what I've done is I've just taken that loop, folded it again and now you can see that it's coming over the top of the one going towards the top of my ladder. And the next thing I do is I just dive down in there and pull a little bit through. So you can see there, I've pulled a little bit through of the one going up to the rope of my ladder. And all I do now is pass my next rung through there. And you can see now, we've tied the marlin spike hitch in a different way at that point on the ladder. And then all we do is just move to the other side here so move to the other side and once again what I do is I get hold of my cordage and I just roll it up to form a loop. I then roll it up for a second time and then you can see now where I've gone over for a second time I can dive down in there, pull a little bit through and then put the next rung of my ladder on at that point there. And you can see now here that we've now got, let's see, bring them closer together. You can see now here that I have now got two rungs on my ladder. And then as we, and then also the other thing is, it's so easy to adjust this. You can just pull the cordage through and just adjust it on either side. But the thing I would say to you as well is this, that when you're actually using this, let's just bring that out a bit. When you're actually using this, just remember, when there's no weight on this and it can flap about in the breeze, the, the actual marlin spike hitch itself can come undone. So you're looking to basically inspect it, check the tension on it, so just pull it, make sure that all the knots are as tight as they can be prior to climbing it and then climb up. But the issue is that you have to be so careful because it will shake itself free if allowed to. So it really, the marlin spike hitch for it to work properly has to have tension on it all the time. It will hold itself in place like this, just the weight of the rungs, etc. But just be aware, it's not 
the safest of methods of climbing up, but it's a quick and dirty way of making yourself a nice little rope ladder. So anyway, that is the Marlin Spike Hitch rope ladder. Once again, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again next time where we'll have some other adventure together. Take care then. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to see more, click on one of the links above or here, and you can see some more of my stuff. So once again, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.